um, objection. I um, don't disagree with the gentleman uh, from Florida in terms of prohibiting uh, offshore drilling, because I think that we should not have any offshore drilling for oil and gas off the eastern coast of the United States in the Atlantic or, and, and even in some other areas. But I did not hear him mention, I may have been mistaken, but I did not hear him mention the fact that his bill also prohibits offshore wind and renewables off the coast of Florida. And I'm totally opposed uh, to the bill for that reason. Uh, what we need to be doing is to discouraging fossil fuels uh, and encouraging renewables. And that's exactly what the Democrats did in the Inflation Reduction Act when we provided all kinds of incentives uh, for renewables, including solar and wind power, including offshore. And for, uh, to have an amendment that says that uh, offshore wind is not acceptable or should be prohibited flies in the face of what we should be doing to address uh, the climate crisis. And so for that reason, even though I may agree to uh, the idea that we should pro... Yes. Impact of some of those wind farms on migratory bird populations. Look, I, I, I take back my time. There's a very easy way, in my opinion, to manage and regulate uh, offshore wind. Certainly it has to be regulated, but the gentleman's amendment prohibits it and treats it the same way as he treats offshore oil and gas drilling. Those two should not be equated. We need to move forward uh, and we need to encourage, as we do in the Inflation Reduction Act, uh, offshore wind and use of renewables around the country. And for that reason, I would uh, oppose the amendment and I would reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman cannot reserve time. Um, the I wanted can to yield, yield it to then. Someone, if they wish. Oh, you're not speaking. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I would uh, yield back uh, the balance of my time.